Hi guys, just playing with pulse motors again because I found my reed switches. Well, if you saw the previous video, you'll know that I actually ordered a new set because I'd forgotten where I'd stored these. And then when the new ones arrived, I conveniently found these as well. So I've got twice as many as I need. Anyway, what we have here. Um, and it's just stopped because the needle's sliding inside the container. Um, let's push that back up again. This is one of those um, uh, deodorant things or fragrance things. It's the lid from it. Uh, normally it has some sort of thing underneath it that gives off some sort of smell to hide the smells in your house. Um, anyway, it happens to be a plastic cone. So I've stuck some magnets on it. And then all we've got here is one of the reed switches. Uh, that's in some blue tack just so I can move it around to get the position in right. A uh, little coil there. That actually comes out of um, one of those uh, torches that you squeeze to generate the light. So it's a little coil already made. So all we've got is I'm using two AA batteries at the moment to power it so they're rechargeable so it's about 2.4 volts. Those go through the coil, through the reed switch and back again and then there is actually a little LED there that you probably can't even see is pulsing or flashing. You can see it's hopelessly out of balance but I have a reason for wanting to use this setup. I've got some sticky backed mirrors, little um, mosaic mirrors that I want to stick on there and then shine a light on it like a disco ball type of thing. Now ideally I'd run it off a solar panel so that we get the sunshine in, getting reflected off a load of mosaic um, mirrors. But obviously late at night that's not going to happen. But what I will do is try and stick some mirrors on it and maybe shine a light on it and see if we get the right effect. I'll just unplug it and see if we can lift it off its bearing. It is just a needle pushed through the top of that thing uh, and then underneath, although the magnet's currently gripping it, you know, just got a wood screw there. So the point of the needle, which is up in there, just rests in the top of that. So that's the bottom bearing. And then the top bearing is just a hole in this uh, popsicle stick. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can stick some mirrors around the outside there. I quite liked this uh, bit of plastic, plastic cone, because it's got these plastic, um, well, shapes in it so that I can get all the magnets spaced neatly. I just see that one's moved out. But they're just resting up against those bits of plastic. So they're all evenly spaced. Right, this is the mirror mosaics that I bought in uh, a Watt, a bit like Poundland, similar sort of shop. They're sticky backed mirrors. I did rather fancy using these because that's what these are glitter balls or disco balls, but I don't dare use them because they're my wife's. So um, we'll try and make our own. Obviously this is going to make it all heavy and unbalanced. Stick it to my fingers better than uh, sticking to the plastic. Oh, 
well, it's still out of balance. But we are getting the um, glitter ball effect. Not quite as effective as I'd hoped, to be honest. What happens if I turn that light off? Yeah, not quite what I wanted. So I'm just turn it round. So I might be able to see the LED flickering. Yeah, a bit disappointing that, to be honest. But it is working. So it's a pulse motor, simply a coil with a reed switch and a battery pack. I'm running it on two double A's, so, well, rechargeable double A's, so 2.4 volts or thereabouts. And it's working. I just unplug that, let it run down. It is hopelessly out of balance. Now I can just about see it on my hand. That'll do. So, another pulse motor, and in theory, glitter ball. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee and if you fancy some Grandad merchandise I have two shops one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.